Hey, Leos, and thank you guys so much for tuning in. All right, guys, so happy birthday to those who have birthdays this month. That's awesome. I hope you guys are having a blast or will have a blast since that it's at the end of this month. But um, this is going to be a love reading for you guys. Just for time efficiency purposes, I'm going to do a general spread first. So it will be for singles and couples. Then I will focus on singles and then I'll go ahead and focus on couples. So if you guys want to time stamp it to help out all the other Leos, I'd greatly appreciate it. All right, guys. So let's see what is happening. What is happening for all Leos in love? General read on all... Leo's in love. What is going on for Leo's this month? Okay. All right, guys. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, guys. So your energy for this is the death in the reverse, okay? So there may be a situation that you guys know is no longer serving you, but you're still there. For some reason, you're still there. Let's see what's under that. The three of pentacles in the reverse, yeah. So there could be someone that you're just not communicating well with. You know, you're not seeing eye to eye. This person's just not understanding you, and it's like you know that you should move away from whatever situation this is, but you haven't yet, all right? But this is just general. Let's jump in and see what's going on, guys. So, in the past, you know, you were in a situation where it's like, you know, I don't want to fight, I don't want to argue, I just want to withdraw and not involve myself with any of this petty bullshit anymore. With the high priestess in the reverse, it threw you off your game. It threw you off your game, you didn't feel like solid with the decisions that you were making, you just weren't tapping into your intuition. Your gut may have been telling you something, but your, you know, your heart could have been like, oh, no, 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 it's not like that, but it's like... You know, your gut's like, no, seriously, it's like that. See it for what it is, okay? So your intuition just isn't there. And with the Three of Cups, you know, sure, it could be a party. You, you could be celebrating or you could be could have been part of a third-party situation. Now, with the Five of Wands, it's funny. Um, we got the Star card, the Five of Wands upright, and the Empress. So there's... It's like you didn't want to fight and you didn't want to involve yourself in drama and you were trying your best not to, but somehow you still got in it, <laughs> okay? But the reason why you got into this drama was because you were starting something new and it was something that you were wishing for. So maybe you had somebody else in your past that just wasn't happy about that. Or maybe uh, it was dealing with more than one person and trying to avoid conflict, but the conflict, you know, found you anyways. Now, with this high priestess, There's something new that started for you guys, okay? But you weren't so sure if this was the best move to make. And it might have been because you may have had somebody else there too. Or maybe that person had somebody else there too. Okay? Because there's dissatisfaction around the Three of Cups. So I feel like uh, there was a third-party situation. Maybe one, um, if it was you guys juggling, maybe there was someone that didn't make you happy. And it's like you're trying to move forward with somebody else. But this other person is still like, you know tugging at your leg or if it's you talking to someone else and you were being stable and you were being there but you felt like something was off maybe you found out that they were still talking to somebody else okay and it made you unhappy in your present moment we have the ten of wands and this is right under where the five of wands and all that bullshit is so maybe you're releasing the burden of all these people okay and you're having you know good communication back and forth with somebody and you're choosing to take a break from something Okay, so you're releasing something that was unstable for you. You have the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, and the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, she's immature in a sense. Like, she has a lot of growing up to do. She needs to learn how to conduct herself better, but I see you releasing the burden of her. Whether uh, you're releasing a burden and it's making you feel unstable, or you're releasing the burden of somebody else that was unstable. Yeah, and you're having this brand new start. And guys, this is right under this Ace of Pentacles, all right? So there's definitely um, a new start coming in for you. And it's like you're, you're cutting things, you know, you're cutting straight to the chase. You don't want any bullshit. You see things for what it was in the past, but now you're cutting that out. With the Four of Swords, it's like you're taking a break, but from what? 
be taking a break from juggling or from being part of this third party situation. Like, I feel like you just withdraw yourself. So whatever new start it is that you're having in the present moment, I feel like you're moving away from the third party situation. If that was something that was happening for you guys. Or you could be celebrating the fact that you're just taking a break. The, the fact that you have a new start and now you can kind of take a break and not worry about the shit from the past. Okay? So either or. Now in the future, Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. So now there's something, you know, that is, there's like blockage on a new start. Or on the start that you may have just had. But then it's the Two of Cups following it where there's this union. So it's like... Um, Something's getting in the way of this union starting, but it still starts. And when that starts, somebody is going to be, you know, upset about something. It could be you guys because you, you know, you hold the energy of the King of Wands. Let's see what this is about. So there's something that's unbalanced in the future, okay? And you choose not to start with whatever was imbalanced. So maybe, you know, there's still more than one person that you're talking to, but... It's like you're choosing to start with someone, you take a break, and now you're choosing not to keep going with somebody else in the future. What's this two of cups about? You have the four of wands. So it's like um, you're just letting go. You're letting go and you're starting this union. Well, why is this king of wands here? You might feel a little bit unbalanced. You know, with the king of wands uh, in the reverse, whether this be your energy or the person that you're talking to, this is someone that they could be temperamental, but they could be a tad bit unreliable as well. But it's like you're standing your ground in the situation. But you might feel trapped in your own mind. All right? So make sure that you guys are making uh, progressive decisions, something that's going to help you. Make sure that you're not, um, you know... Tie one end before, you know, working with another end. Just make sure that there's no loose ends here. So if you guys do want to move forward, just make sure there's no baggage or anybody else in the past. And um, if you are trying to move forward from a third-party situation where somebody else brought in the third party, then just, you know, be strong enough to tell yourself, hey, this isn't going to work. I got to move away from it. All right? Who we are as people is what we attract. So if you're attracting that, change your ways. Okay? But Leos are strong. You guys got this. All right. Let's see what's happening with my Leo singles. All right. Leo singles. One more shuffle. What is happening with Leo singles? All right. Alright guys, Leo Singles, I see something happening for you, alright? So for July, it's all about new starts. And with the Ace of Pentacles, it could be a new start with an Earth sign, or just a new start that uh, you're slowly getting yourself into so that it could have that longevity, okay? Now in your past, secrets came out, alright? There was clarity to a situation that you were involved with. And there was something that you may have wanted that just didn't come back in. And it could have been surrounding a love situation. So let's see what's happening here. All right. Um, there's secrets that may have come out about you. Or may have come out with another fire sign you were dealing with. Or just somebody who's very passionate. All right. Why is the three of wands here? And it's like you felt trapped because things weren't working out the way you wanted it to. Okay? But, you know, a union came in and I feel like you had this passionate uh, encounter with somebody and you're trying to take steps to slow the getting it. You know, we have the Page of Pentacles and you have the um, Ace of Pentacles. So you guys are really, you know, taking your time and making sure that this is something that's going to be solid for you. Which I see it being, <laughs> damn, you guys have it nice this month. All right, we have the Ten of Cups in your present moment, followed by the Knight of Swords, followed by the Ace of Wands. Which is saying, I'm going to be happy, I'm going to build stability, and I don't want no bullshit. You could possibly be dealing with an air sign, but um, yeah, I see you guys just cutting through any bullshit, cutting through any mental traps you may have had. All right, why is this Ten of Cups here? 
temperance upright. So it's like, you know, with this Ten of Cups, this is like that ultimate uh, family abundance. That's ability. That's like long, something that could be really long term. And you're, you feel really balanced with this. Okay. With the Knight of Swords, it's like a new cycle is starting for you. And you're being very direct with what you want and very direct in your approach, just like any Leo would. When you guys have something on your mind that you want, I feel bad for anybody that tries to get into your way because nobody is stopping Leo from doing what they want. Ace of Wands, a new passionate start, guys. That's awesome. I'm so happy for you guys. A new start, but it may have you in limbo for some reason. Let's see. You may have been hesitating to start it, but I see you starting it. The Empress is popping up, so uh, you guys have a lot of Earth energy here. Could be air, could be Earth, uh, could possibly be a Taurus, because that represents the Empress card, but let's keep it moving and see what's going on. All right, now in your future, guys, you have the Devil card. So when the Devil card comes up, this could be you just, um, maybe there's a lot of lust in this new relationship. This always comes up when there's a lot of everything, especially if it's new. You know, with the Ace of Wands, with a new start when it comes to relationships, this is like long nights of like passionate sex, like just throwing yourself into someone. So you could just be so like immersed in this person and that's why it's showing up, all right? But then there is someone who's being fake in the situation and there's an injustice that may come. Why is this devil card here? Wow. Guys, the devil... Clarified by the devil. I'm going to need another clarifier here. All right. Okay. So, could be a third-party situation. All right? You have the three of cups. All right? You have the two of pentacles juggling. A fallout. Someone lying and sneaking. Possibly with a water sign. If you guys have, you know, it, it doesn't show who's doing what. If you guys have something solid, then just make sure if th things are within your power that you're not going to step out. Because it looks like you guys have something really solid here. Um, but if, you know, you thought you had something solid and the person steps out on you, you guys got to be strong enough to walk away from this injustice, okay? Because you guys are strong, you guys are very beautiful people, so it's just like, if that's going to happen to you, don't take anyone's shit. I don't care how good things were, alright? We can't judge a person on how good things used to be. We have to judge them by who they are now. Because there's somebody who's being fake right here and being a little bit promiscuous. Again, that water energy shows up, alright? And with the injustice, uh, with the justice in the reverse, it's gonna, you know, it's gonna bring an end to a situation. So this could go either way, you know. Um, this isn't gonna resonate with everyone one hundred percent, but it looks like there's something good that's coming in. But someone's gonna step out. So if it's something good and you're the one who's tempted to step out, just, you know, think to yourself: Is it worth losing the person I'm with right now? Because that's exactly what's gonna happen if you step out. But if someone else steps out. You guys be the strong Leos that you are. Roar and keep shit moving. Because I see you guys walking away. So no matter who does what, it's, it, it would lead to an end of something. Okay? So take that as a warning. Now let's see what is going on with my Leo couples. What is happening for my Leo couples? What is going on for Leo couples? shuffle. Leo couples, what is happening for Leo? Okay. All right, guys. So your energy for this reading is the five of swords in the reverse. You don't want bullshit. You don't want to fight. You don't want to argue. You want to avoid drama as much as possible. And that's what's going to make you happy. All right? 
So let's dive into your past, guys. First card you have for your past is communication, all right? There's something happening fast for you. There's something good coming in. But for some reason, it makes you feel lost. You're not sure which path to take, but you do end up taking one path because you have, you know, this, uh, the two of cups. So it's like you may have felt lost about a certain situation with your lover, but, you know, things do end well. Now, let's see what this is about. Why is this eight of wands here? Okay, you got the temperance. So there's good, balanced communication going back and forth. Why is this two of wands here in the reverse? All right, you have the two of wands and then the three of pentacles. So maybe you're unsure of how to build with this person that you're with, or maybe you're unsure of which path to take because you have more than one person who you could take a path with. And why is this two of cups here? You take a slow approach towards somebody. You know, there is a union there. Let me get one more card here. But things were a little chaotic on the way there. So things were a little crazy, but it's like you choose to take a slow approach towards someone or towards uh, your partner. Okay. Now, this doesn't have to be like cheating or anything like that. Maybe you and your partner had to make a certain business decision with the three pentacles here. All right. And you weren't sure of which decision to take and things were a little crazy and you guys collectively decided to take it slow and move forward with that situation in a slow way. Let me not make this sound so morbid. Now, in your present moment, we do have the Queen of Pentacles. So you guys could be dealing with an Earth energy or you could just be finding stability within yourself and saying, you know what, we can't have bullshit and we need to start things in a new way and, you know, make sure that we cut out all the shit, make sure that we're honest with each other, make sure that we're communicating well and make sure that we're both like, uh, sorry, guys. Oh, my God, my neck is always hurting. But um, just like starting something uh, new but without bullshit. Like, choosing to take a clear path with your partner. But we have the Knight of Cups in the reverse, which is somebody who could be emotional or could be unreliable or could have, so, you know, more than one person there. Now, with this Queen of Pentacles, uh, you know, someone's being stable, but there's also someone here, you know, with the Knight of Swords cutting to the chase. And with the Empress, there may be something that you guys are trying to, you know, get off collectively, but it's just not coming in just yet. Or you could, you or your partner could have... Uh, other options in terms of love and you're starting it's like you guys decide to start new because there's clarity to the situation now why is this knight of cups here i can't believe i cracked my neck like that on screen i just like forget i'm talking to you guys sometimes but whatever i work out every day guys i'm always in pain all right so there's something happening here with the knight of cups okay in the reverse and then we have the ace of cups in the reverse so there's somebody who might step out of the relationship or might be very emotionally, like, unstable. And because of that, you know, either you or your partner feels like they're not having that emotional fulfillment. Like, this isn't making them as happy as they thought it could have. If you guys have someone else, careful, all right? Because shit's going to come out. If your partner has someone else and, they've, and you've been feeling this, you're going to get proof which is going to cause a delay on passion. And that's what happens when you fuck up. Okay, that's why justice comes up. So whether they fucked up or whether you fucked up. What's the Seven of Swords about? Seven of Swords and the Three of Wands in the reverse. So things just didn't come back in for you the way you wanted it to. Again, that number three keeps popping up. It could be a third-party situation. Why is this Ace of Wands here? Because there was somebody that was making promises on love, saying, you know, I want to be here, I want to do this, but they were just, they weren't ready. They weren't ready to give the commitment that they said they were going to give, okay? Why is this justice card here? Yeah, justice is going to be served, and you have to be strong through it. This is your card, Leo, all right? I'll take both of these cards. Yeah, justice is served, and it's like you're going to be worried about the outcome of this, but you're going to get over it, all right? You got the five of pentacles in the reverse, so there might be, um, you might be rejecting your partner, they might be rejecting you, but I feel like this is something you may have seen coming, and it's like you're just going to pick yourself up, brush off, and keep it moving, all right, guys? So uh, best of luck to everyone who is a Leo in love right now. And I hope that everything uh, is figured out and 
worked out gracefully. But you guys are absolutely awesome. And just know uh, once we get into August, you guys will be the first for all of the ratings I put out. So stay tuned for that. I love you guys. Take care.